Hello you too, my name is Adam with Massoff and I'm going to teach you how to make a recolored skin in with, with well with Wooksy's help. Alright, so you're going to click create skin. Alright, now once this opens up you're going to see this, you're going to click get files. And you might end up with just a little game client, well it might just put you in this folder. You'll get data, levels, maybe some stuff here. But what you're going to need to do is go into data, characters, you're going to select your character Mumu. As you can see, how Mu has all these uh, files everywhere. Um, some of them are actually organized into the skins folder, which this is much better because you can click on base and you can find all the base particles in here. However, unfortunately, a Mu Mu is not set up like that, and I'm doing a Mu Mu recolor. <laughs> Alright, so SKLs are skeleton files. SKNs are basically meshes, they're the object object files, if you want to look at it that way. They're basically the model. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to select sandmummy.dds. That is because that is what he was previously called, I believe, in the files. So we're going to extract that. And then I also want to change his bandage toss because if I recolor that, I don't want that to still be the old color. If you're in one of the organized folders, it would be where the base stuff is. However, it is not. Mumu's file is not organized. So you're going to want to go into the particles folder and you're going to want to look up the ability. And the ability is bandage toss. Here we have bandage loop.dds. That is what we want. We're going to extract the file. Okay, now we're going to open view, a little game client, data, characters, a Mumu. We're going to open this up in paint.net. You can use GIMP if you have a plugin, or I believe it should already be acceptable in Photoshop. And we're also going to do the bandage loop. Alright, so because I'm just doing a recolor, it is very simple. All I'm going to do is select what I want to change. I clicked the wrong thing there. I meant to click this, subtract. And I'm just going to separate the eye here. Turn this down a bit. Oh, whoops, it was on that selection. Uh, I don't know, I messed up. Oh well. Alright, so I selected the eye. Well, everything but the eye. Now I'm going to go into adjustments. I'm going to go into hue and saturation. And what I'm going to do is basically remove all saturation. And now it's going to basically become black and white outside of the eye. And now what I'm also going to want to do is make a new layer. Take a color because I want to have color because bandages are not pure white. Uh, I guess I could just use this paint bucket to do that. Now I'm going to do this layer. Change it to a multiply layer and reduce the opacity to a point where I believe it looks natural. That to me looks like a natural white. I'm going to merge the layers, save it as a file on my desktop so I can easily access it. And now I'm basically just going to do the same thing with this image. Adjustments, human saturation, make it white like that. New layer, paint, bring this down, multiply and bring it down to about that although I'm actually going to just check to see what this is at 36 yeah maybe this is too high Put this down to 36 make it match all right there we go Merge this down I'll save as save it to the desktop save okay all right don't save all right now that we have all this install skin <laughs> Wait for this to go. Any second, no. And now we're going to go to custom skins. Oh, this is from my previous attempt. Let's uninstall that. Oops. Wrong button. My bad. My bad, guys. <laughs> my previous attempt at this video. Uh, I don't know. It just, I didn't like it. Alright, add files. Here we go. We're going to add this. We're going to hold control and add this as well. Because we're only going to do that. Alright, here we go. And save skin. And a Moo Moo YouTube. A Moo Moo YouTube. <laughs> save skin. 
I'm playing my YouTube. This is the one we just made. Install. Okay. Now we're going to go and delete. Play. And create. Create a custom game. Yeah. And now we're going to click on the move. And we're going to instantly lock in. Alright. So now that that's basically just going to go, I'm just going to go over um, the loading screen file. Where you exactly you would find that data characters Lumo. I mean it's pretty self-explanatory it's like right here is the base the base doesn't have the number normally um, also there are a couple of things that might be hard to find for example if you look into Singe the original Singe is called Chemical Man Mumu Sad Mummy uh, yeah it's pretty annoying let's see is there anything else I wanted to go over while we wait? I don't really think there was. Hmm. Should almost be there. Oh shit, I have like five, seven, seven, six hundred ping. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, 660. I wonder why that's like that. Oh, there we go. Flip point bandage toss. As you can see, Amumu is perfectly mummified, and the bandage toss looks the part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was easy enough to follow. Just ask me a question if you need any help.